the way I look and then Gubing it was gonna suck, yo. What's gonna suck? If I look the way I look and I was quiet, look. Right? I look like a person like who's quiet. Now imagine if you was. Wait. Lord Shani Wandona Vekosi and welcome to yet another true episode of Show Bees Have What a Do What It Does. As you can see today, it's not the normal one, not the normal one today. Oh, yes. uh, I've got uh, I've got a guest here with me today. Uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for staying with me. Uh, and if you were new here, la, 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 just subscribe, 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 subscribe. This bee does not sting. Now uh, I have a guest here today. I'm gonna let him introduce himself and tell you who he is generally and who he is to me and then he will do the verse of the day with, for us today. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over to you, mister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy weird with the vibes. It's good guys. This is Sandy Le Christopher Mashango. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm 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 Sandy I go by weird. I'm uh, you know, I sing, I dance, I'm an actor, you know, and then this idiot right here in the name of Jesus is my <laughs> is my older sister. Yeah, yeah. So he's my older sister, and I'm the special, I'm, I'm the beautiful child of the family. Thank you very much. Yeah. People are ambitious in this life, but we will allow them because they are guests, right? So we will allow them for the floor. So today we're just going to do a young sibling quiz, you know, just a bonding session over some snacks. We are out here making some brunch. Uh, we have over here, my mom makes some platters, you know. Uh, some catering, she's into some catering stuff, so she was doing a platter today. So these are the leftovers. Uh, we have oh, wow, well. <laughs> um, the ham, there's ham and some nuggets over here, chicken nuggets that we sliced up, and then these are some wraps, which very salty. That's why they stayed and they didn't go with the bladder because oh, well, we they, that though. They so, and you know there was no these things, right? There was no what and then we have uh, oh. cheese here and then we have a sauce here. Secret sauce! No, it's not really a secret. It's secret sauce! Okay. They have a sauce here and then there's um what do you call these things? Sausage sausage rolls. So yeah, we eat really everything. We so eat. he's gonna be having it with bread. I'm gonna be having it with a wrap. Um, yeah. Ye, ye, ye. So yeah, while we make our snack, we're gonna get into the quiz, right? Yeah. Like who's more? Lovely. Okay. So, how would you describe your sibling? How would you describe me? Like, like it's more than one word. Like has to be yeah, like just sister. like if someone asked you, how's your sister? How would you say? My sister, my sister is, you know, smart, smart, you know, smart, very bossy. Yes. Smart, bossy, uh, an overall creative, very loud, but doesn't show it. V loud but low key yeah loud but low key yeah that's that how that's how to explain yeah in, yeah how would you explain i would first of all ah, why are we so happy well, let's fix i would this. first of all say that my little brother is annoying that is i think that is the primary primary trait 
Uh, how? Primary, how? It's the primary trait. I think everyone knows that you're annoying. It's not just a me. No, no, how? It's not just a, a because you have a little brother thing. Like, you're generally no. an annoying person, a very pestering, very. How would you know? Like, in your face person. But how would you know? How would right? you know? How would I know? They, they don't tell you these things, right? right? They do, actually. But anyway, annoying, but also very. Loud. Very loud, actually. I'm very surprised that he says that I'm loud because I think, well, we're both loud, actually. We are quite loud. He's not the See, first person to tell me that I'm loud, but he's louder. Trust me. He, How is, am I louder? he is louder than me. Uh, so if you think I'm loud, mm-hmm. don't come to the Matango house. I don't know. I don't know. He's loud, but he's also very driven. I think he's someone who's very driven. Uh, he's He's resilient he's also quite smart although i'm the brains of the family no 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 let's let's fix this let's fix this i am the brains of the family no. he won't admit it i mean no, why would you admit this. that you're dumb but anyway uh, how why um would, you're right why would you admit that you're dumb <laughs> so yeah yeah i think that's he's weird but i mean you'd already know that because his name says it all dumb. uh yeah so that's how i describe him next question next um question. What do you admire about your sibling? Okay, this one could be t- this one's gonna be touchy touch. Now man my uh okay, one I I identify, you know, people this particular category of people, masters of peace, people who know who don't, you know, when something bothers them they don't you know they don't follow like ah Ah, they just say, okay, I'm choosing peace and just leave in the situation, you know. Somebody who just extracts themselves from, like, negativity and negative vibes, you know. Uh, yeah, that that's what I've admired. And guys, I, guys, let's not lie, my sister is big talented, let's not lie. <laughs> I'm, 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 okay, no, she's not. She's the West. <laughs> yeah, my, my sister's pretty talented, my mm. Not just pretty, man. Not not just pretty talented. She's really talented. Really talented. And, you know, when she wants something, she goes and gets it. So, yeah. that's that one. Nah, that one. That one is like... Yeah. Super hey, hey, hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. What I admire about my little brother is uh, his ability to, to see good in people. And I think it's probably something that was instilled in us by our parents. Because I also am someone who really generally sees the best in people. I'm done, by the way. Here's my rap. That's what happens when you make me talk and then... <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, I to... uh, so yeah, he sees the best in people. And he's very... Like I, I mentioned that if I were to describe him, I'd say he's resilient. He's someone who really like hangs in there, brah. You know, like through the good, the bad, the worst. He just hangs in there. And yeah, he also... You know, he's a go-getter, you know, if he wants something, he also goes for it, you know. So, I admire that a lot about him. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. So, what is one childhood memory that stands out for you, that includes me? Other than you beating me? Senseless? She is abusive. Very abusive. Which abusive, traumatic experience do you want me to talk about okay that took a turn <laughs> okay no okay but the one okay it's kind of, it was kind of funny <laughs> it happened um so like i don't know when we were growing up there, there was a point where yeah there was a point where she was actually taller than me at some point guys at some point she oh. was actually once upon a time she was taller than me somehow stronger than me ne? So we found out that she could pick me up. Yeah? She could, you know, you see that thing of this thing you and putting me on the shoulders. Mm. She could do that. Yeah? And then I think it was my dad. My dad had this brilliant idea <laughs> that she put me on her shoulders and then I wear his largest oh, trench coat. <laughs> his largest trench coat. Yeah? And a hat. And then we wore that. And then my dad, my dad saw us and he laughed a bit. It was whatever. And then he was like, let's go scare your mom. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to the bedroom. You even remember, I even put on a wig. Yeah, a wig. A very scary. A very scary. You! <laughs> did my mother not jump? Yo! 
And they were talking, I think it was like 10, 11, mm, around like those 11 times. And my mom used to sleep early because she woke up early for work. And yo. So maybe she was like two, three hours into her sleep. So imagine this weird, this short, weird, tall, shortish, tallish, don't understand. Jacket, <laughs> weak thing. She screamed, bro. <laughs> like she screamed. She screamed. She would have jumped out of the bed if my, my dad would say, no. <laughs> <We're Musadi. right. laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a dope, but I forgot about that one. One of my favorite memories. <laughs> Abusive. <laughs> I remember one time we slept late at night. I don't know what we were talking about. All I know that that conversation was driven by Apulangada. I don't know. I remember. I remember. So this smart one say told me that if he, he was actually. She had learned, the, I, she said she had learned the story at, you know, Sunday, Sunday school. At that time, me, I was, you know, the drop. <laughs> it wasn't a drop out, you didn't go to church. I don't like church, man. I just... I think I'm the, I'm the one who liked church throughout my life in this family. Ah, this one loved church. Me, I didn't, I didn't like the fact of getting hungry and staying. No. When you get hungry, you leave, guys. So anyway, so he, she was telling me about how if, if Adam and Eve didn't eat the apple in that like the in, in the garden we would have been constantly eating oh. apples and things so apulangara you know we'd be doing that every day yeah. and we loved the whole night so we were talking about how we it would be basically in the garden of eden i just realized you didn't do the verse of the day but anyway we'll, we'll come back we'll, co we'll cover that um yeah, so we were talking about how it would be in, in the garden, you know, it was nice, fun vibes. Until late into the night when we should be asleep. And it's a school night, mind you, tomorrow we're going to school. So we sleep late. The next morning, my dad is sweet, my dad walks into the room. We used to sleep together. So my dad walks in and he wakes us up with a song, bro. My dad, you know, used to be that dude. He's like, Vugani, Vugani, say, we see me. Ah, and then he goes to bath. After he baths, he comes back. <laughs> we are asleep, we are tired, we slept late. After he gets dressed, he comes back with a towel. <laughs> Yo, guys. Yeah. No, it was another thing there. And that time, now, you're on edge. Everything, you're doing everything fast. And then, mind you, he wants you to stay on edge. Want you. So, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> things like that. Get from saying, yo, dog. <laughs> oh, that was, yo. <laughs> One of his very few times where we wanted to stay in yeah. the house and not go to school. What is, what, what values do you think we got from our parents, from our upbringing, from uh, whatever? I think, uh, Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Mm -hmm. Keep on like and never giving up. And those are because one guys. Okay, let me just let me just advise you guys. If you're looking for inspirational stories, ask your parents about their stories of the come up. How did they you know come to this house? Ask your mother, your father. Ask them. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you that those stories will give you strength that comes from beyond these people never gave in yeah and it really makes you appreciate you know because what you have right what now. you have because it, it makes you understand what it took for them although now if you compare it with other people you might think it's it's, it's not mad it's not hard, or whatever. Bro. but when you think about where they come from and how hard they work to be here mm. then you really get to be appreciative of that so so it's keep on it, with me it's too yeah keep on keeping on and and non-judgment yes i was non about to say i was about to say that we were the way we were raised we were raised to be free spirits first of all mm -hmm. and we were raised to make our own decisions you understand there was no obviously your parents will guide you and tell you when you're doing something wrong but for the most part i feel like our parents allowed us the space to make our own mistakes and if they can see we know you are really going off track mm -hmm. they will tell you dude if you keep going this road then you know the one I'm on flames. I'm on flames, you know. But then it was up to you how you chose to mm. live, you know. They didn't. They although they were strict, but then they would. I wouldn't say they were strict. They tried to make sure that we're safe, mm. you know, and we are alive. 
but it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't that strict of you know yeah. don't go outside, outside don't you know that very overprotective kind of strict no they really allowed us ground to make our own decisions and you know choose our own lives but the whole non-judgment thing is my parents are really like free spirits they're really loving people and like like I said, Sanile is someone that can get along with anyone. And I'm also someone that can get along with anyone. If you see someone, mm -hmm. you don't judge them maybe because they're drunk or because they spoke. Like literally, I, I can find Sanile like, sitting and chatting to some weird people. And I'm like, dude, what were you even <laughs> talking about with this person, you know? And also, I find myself, even if he's not the one who would ask me that question, but, you know, with other people, they'll ask me, dude. Me, yeah. I ask myself and Sanile, I'm like... <laughs> So that's why we don't. Okay. <laughs> you know, other people will ask me, what do you even talk, talk about, about with this person? You know? So, yeah, I think we were raised in that way that we don't judge a book by its right. cover. Although you will have your kind of your opinion, but then you don't let that stop you from actually hearing someone's story and getting to know them and giving them the chance, you know, to be human. Mm. Um, the, one, the one thing is, this, this reminds you of a, an experience, just quick, fast. Um, uh, there, was, there was a time, there was a time, I don't know, I think I was in primary, like grade six, and I don't know, people associated, you know, very weird things such as wearing earrings, <laughs> wearing <laughs> earrings as something like kind of gay or, you know, girly or something like that. So, I wanted to test my father my father just to test where he stands on this so i asked him that what would you do if i wanted to get my ears pierced and i'm in grade six grade seven my dad was like do you want to get your ears pierced and i was like no i'm just asking he was like no nah, i don't mind and then i was like hey she doesn't feel i'm like okay but what would you do if i turn gay he same energy do you want? Are you gay? <laughs> no! Hell no! No, I'm not. And then he was like, well, if you are, you are. And then how how he's, you know, he's just open-ended. My, my dad is a matter of, he treats people as people. Like, yeah, that's true. So the, that's the one thing I was like, I just, this guy, this means this non-judgment thing is like, throughout, the, the, it goes across the board. It, he doesn't like, it doesn't matter what type of people it is. Mm -hmm. she, he's there. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up today. I hope you had fun chilling with us. And then I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Weird to wrap it up with the verse of the day. So, so, poppy. so the verse of the day for me would be Luke chapter 20, verse 42 to 43. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says, um, sit at my right hand. Sit at my right hand and I shall make your enemies your footstool. Mm. Mm. You know? Reason, I like it. Reason is my favorite to that. I see it as a, I got you. You know? God say, I got you. Like, I, I really got you. And I've got you so much that your, your enemies will look up at you. Mm. You know? It, it's better than uh, eat, eating, what? what's that verse that says uh, you eat... In front of the guitar full in the presence of, of his enemies. Your enemies. So for me, that one, that one's pretty nice too. But that one of because of because of the God they see in you, they they see in you, they become a, a footstool. Mm. Yeah, that is some powerful stuff right there. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. See you on the next tube episode. Remember to spread love, light, and positivity. All love from this side. Yeah. Bye. Jungle way. <laughs> yeah. I'll make coffee.